Feel free to see our exclusive content on Patreon. And if you like our channel, please support us on PayPal. In this video, we will look at the historical evolution of the old fort in Bramfontein, Johannesburg, also known today as Constitution Hill. It was Johannesburg first prison and the first military fort, the Robben Island of Johannesburg. The original prison was built to house white male prisoners in 1892. The old fort was built around this prison by Paul Kruger from 1896 to 1899 to protect the South African Republic from the threat of British invasion. Irony, as it that both the fort and the prison were used by the British to incarcerate South African prisoners of war. Even prominent Boer leaders of the Anglo-Boer War were imprisoned here by the British soon after the British had succeeded in seizing and controlling Johannesburg. Under the apartheid government, only whites were held in the old fort prison buildings, except for Nelson Mandela. He was kept there after the government received a tip-off regarding an escape attempt. Mandela was given a bed in the hospital section as an awaiting trial prisoner in 1962 prior to the Rivonia trial. Number 4, also called Native Prison, was once home for Mahomet Gandhi that was imprisoned there in 1906. Other famous people like Joe Slovo, Bram Fischer, Albert Lutuli and Robert Subukwe, just to name a few, were imprisoned here. The old fort prison was later extended to include native cells called Section 4 and Section 5. And in 1909, the woman Gowell was built as a Victorian-style building with separate sections for whites and other ethnical groups. Treatment meted out on prisoners here were largely with regards to their ethnical background. The white prisoners were given better treatment as compared to other ethnical groups who were crowded in their cells with bad and inadequate sanitary conditions. Some of the notable prisoners who were in prison here include Winnie Mandela, Ruth First and Albertina Sisulo, who were both political activists and were arrested on account of their activities with the African National Congress, also known as ANC. In 1932, Daisy Dumelka was on trial in this prison complex. If you hear strange sounds while visiting Constitution Hill, do not panic. It is apparently one of the many ghosts that haunts the place. Her ghost is said to linger near her former cell, in the wing reserved for female inmates, but wanders frequently, so frequently, in fact, that when a door is blown open, South Africans say that is the ghost of Daisy the Malka is passing through. Women were imprisoned here in humiliating conditions and subjected to months of solitary confinement. The museum includes many moving testimonies from former African female prisoners detailing their struggles behind bars and the shockingly absurd reasons to their arrests. Still, others were arrested for having sex across the collar bar or for homosexual sex. Amongst the practices reported during the tension, the humiliating Tauza dance, the beatings in the notorious number no. 4 prison for African men, the detention for months in dirty, overcrowded conditions in the awaiting trial block, or being stripped of their underclothes and their dignity in the woman's gal. In 1983, woman's imprisonment and its related activities were discontinued at the building. The edifice was later converted to a woman's center. The old fort was declared a national monument in 1964, although it continued 
as a functioning prison until 1987, after which the buildings and the site was a whole suffered from neglect and vandalism. Constitution Hill opened its doors as a museum in 2004, with tours taking the visitors to three prison museums, number four, the Woman's Gowl, and the Old Fort. The site also features the Constitution Court and the Court's collection of 200 South African artworks. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next Living in SATV video.